wondering what's happening while you are watching this video right now. Your device is processing physically stored information. Considering how much time we all spend with our electronics, you can only imagine how much data needs to be stored every single second. Inside of any electronic device, you will find a lot of chips. Not those potato chips, but the ones made from a material called silicon. The more component a chip has, the more capacity your device has. To store huge amounts of data, we make this part smaller and smaller until we reach a very small size. Now, we are hitting the physical limits. On top of that, smaller parts waste a lot more energy, so they are not sustainable at all. This is bad news. It means that our electronics will not be sufficient in the future. But the good news is there are many scientists developing new materials to save the world. Here in our lab at ETH3, I design and grow ferroelectric tin films. Growing a tin film is like arranging the atoms one by one like the beads in a necklace. We are doing it with lasers in these big chambers with a space-like environment. Ferroelectrics could be the key for small and sustainable devices that our future needs. And here is how. Imagine a magnet with two ends north and south. Ferroelectrics are similar, but instead they have opposite electrical charges, positive and negative. They maintain these charges naturally without consuming energy, and we can control them to store information. The best thing is, unlike today's electronics, they are very energy efficient. There are many known ferroelectrics, and by making tin films, we can engineer them into future high-performance devices. My research is driven by the need for an energy-efficient and sustainable future. And science gives me the opportunity to contribute saving the world while having fun playing with atoms and lasers. Thanks for watching.